making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and yes, I'm filming videos back to back. <laughs> but today, you can tell from the jingle, we are here for things we're making Thursday. And our Ellie Leva stitch marker of the day. We're on day seven. Yay! So it's in this lovely autumnal napkin, which I think is genius. For wrapping it is very smart let's see what it is I'm already opening it oh it's an acorn it's so cute so it's like a it's a brass charm that looks like it's enamel painted and it's got some glass beads on it very super cute I am adoring this fall themes they are so cute they're adorable and now I'm kind of wishing I did not put yesterday's pumpkin with the mushroom because it feels like this belongs with the mushroom but that's okay this is going to go with the sunflower it's going to go with the sunflower the acorn and the sunflower <laughs> it's exciting i know the stresses of organizing our stitch marker sets where is my bag here it is behind me okay so we are here for things we're making thursday and what happened was I went a little crazy. So, if you watched my weekly roundup, you know I made the Fantail Infinity Scarf that is meant to go with the Fantail Stitch Fingerless Gloves. So I made the Fingerless Gloves! <laughs> they are done! They are here in my bag! Oops, there's some yarn left on them. Okay, so I made this one first. Let me see. Yep, I made this one first. And I used Lime Brand Landscapes yarn, which is different than what she suggests in her pattern. She likes the um, Boho, Signet Boho. And she admits she has small hands, and she wants you to use a four and a half millimeter hook, but says if you're using a less stretchy yarn, go up a hook size. So I went up hook size. I used landscapes with a five millimeter hook. And here it is. So the opening chain is far too, it's too tight to go around my arm there. So I have to fold it up a little bit. I'm not too worried because that part will be, you know, inside my coat. So it'll be fine. But for the second one, I did a little bit of experimenting and for the starting chain and first row I went up to a 5.5 hook and it fits much much more nicely where's my thumb hole there it is <laughs> so as you can see with the 5.5 I can stretch it all the way down my arm there and we have fingerless gloves and they actually kind of ended up matching and I didn't do any sort of color control or anything like that. It's just crazy random happenstance and I like it. These are very comfy. They're cozy. I am excited to have a matching fall set. So like I said, this is the Hooked by Robin Fantail Shell Stitch Fingerless Gloves. Now, of course, if you watched my last week's Things we're making Thursday. You saw me have a little mental crisis over the measuring of the Yarnspirations pattern. Where's the Yarnspirations pattern? Here we go. It's the Crochet Stripes Arm Warmers. So I... I read so many of your comments and I think your advice was very, very great. So there's a large camp that was like, just make them and grade them yourself. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I can do that. I am a capable crocheter. I can do it. And then there was a large camp that was like, just make the size two and see what happens. I think like, that makes a lot of sense. And then there was another, a lot of people were saying they had assumed based on the pictures and everything that it was just, again, meant for your forearm. So, and I agree. I really think it is meant just for your forearm, but for them to say upper arm circumference 
is very confusing because this is your forearm, this is your upper arm. So I would assume you're measuring your upper arm. I, I don't know. Or they could have meant, they could have said like, measure your forearm below your elbow or measure your circumference at your elbow or something like that. I think the instructions could have been a little clearer there. So anyway, I went ahead and I made them. So I did not put a thumb hole in them. <laughs> this I used the mainstays. I had two skeins of it and I used most of one to do this. So this is my full one. Uh, mainstays, I think it's called pinks or something. Pink multi. Walmart mainstays. Pink multi. I used every last bit of yarn so I don't have any of that to show you. I apologize. But the colorway is mountain range in the landscapes. So I made the size two and I <laughs> ended up trying it on as I went and the as instructed size two fits fabulously. So this is size two according to the pattern directions I ended up making no changes to it other than I frankly forgot to sew in a thumb hole <laughs> and this one's a little harder to get on because of my watch but here we go we have arm warmers and what's hilarious is one of you commented oh I'm not sure I would make that pattern because I don't wear things lower on my arms and that got me thinking neither do I yourself. You just have to laugh at yourself. Um, but here we go. I have two <laughs> sets of arm warmers or fingerless gloves, whatever you want to call them. And I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the month. I'm going to go check out the other patterns. Um, Heather at Strings and Threads had a tutorial or has a tutorial. Um, Crystal, I hooked that yarn, had three tutorials that were listed and I'm gonna check those out I'll decide and I'll make one of them I'm sure <laughs> but I was just so like as I was reading your comments I was like you know what I should just I just need to make them so it was in my head to make them and I made them <laughs> and this is what they are so if you're curious this is what size 2 looks like on me I tend to be, you know, just full transparency here. You see my body. I tend to be a 2X, XL, 2X. I'm between an 18, 20 with gigantic upper arms, but apparently pretty normal forearms. <laughs> okay, so I'm excited to see what other people created this week. This is a really fun one. There is so much variation and I love watching people go off on their own and make patterns that are their own. I saw Cindy from Pups and Crochet posted on Monday that she made the the Hooked by Robin gloves but she like started and then she went off on her own for the shell part and that is awesome. I think that is what this whole things we're making Thursday is about. It's about just expressing our creativity and showing how we make patterns work for us and you know how we make patterns within our own crochet experience. I, there's a there should be a better word I'm not coming up with one but anyway if you are a content creator and want to join in on the fun email anybody making videos we will be happy to hook you in. If you are not a content creator and want to join in the fun please do so please um jenna from jenna stitches made a facebook group for us it's called things we're making thursday it'll be linked down below also you can email anybody putting out videos and i'm sure they will be more than happy to insert pictures of your makes into their videos me included send me pictures i don't care 
I will insert them <laughs> and um Jess from J-Hook Magic and her husband made the jingle at the beginning. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jess. I love it. And yeah, I really, really enjoy this group. It is totally stress-free. So if you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to do it. A, there's not that many months left in this year. B, nobody minds if you come and go. Just make what you want. And this month, it seems to be a bit of a wristlet fingerless glove free for all and I am loving it. I'm loving it. Um, yeah, I really like looking at the uh, Facebook group and seeing all the pictures of people post. I don't often comment back, but I'll like like them. I don't do a lot of Facebook. I feel bad because I've got my own crafting kitty group and I feel like I'm not in there enough. I need to up my Facebook game and my Instagram game. I used to be good at Instagram and then I fell off the wagon. Eh. <laughs> at least I'm making videos. Awesome. Okay. So I will see you guys later.